you overhear a conversation. I hope there's a nasty typhoon on the way. You think we'll still have the culture festival on Saturday? Nah, I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon's going to be way too destructive. That's not good. I hope Japan doesn't become an undersea country. The first bell has rung. Is this really important, this, uh, a typhoon? Hopefully not. School has ended for today. Oh my god, there's nobody in class. There's just one guy. Hi. The culture festival kind of sucks, don't you think? I mean, there's always that one person who's so gung-ho and it makes everyone else get involved. By the way, that person is not me. Oh, there's you as well. Hello. I heard from the grapevine that you went to Mitsui Senpai's summer home with Akihiko Senpai. There are a lot of things I'd like to say to you, but first, I have to ask. You took pictures of him, right? Yeah, probably. Yes, could you make some prints for me? Hey, you don't have any pic- pic- Oh, I, I would have said I would have taken pictures. Nobody's here. Fuka? Oh, Sayori. Oof. It, it, don't, it is not you. Sorry. Fuka, my girl. You want to hang out today? You're coming to the cooking club. Let's hang out, okay? Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Is it okay if I watch you cook today? I think I'll learn some things by watching you cook. Have you decided what you're going to make today? Um, let's make a sugar cookie. They came out pretty well. Obtained two sugar cookies. Wow! You even washed the utensils while you were cooking. It's like you have extra hands or something. Oh, I should write that down too. Echo-chan has a lot of hands. <laughs> Fuka is taking all kinds of notes in her thick notebook. The pages are filled with small letters. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing to show this. I took notes on everything you did. All the steps you took to prepare the ingredients. I think I'm good at observing and analysing things. That makes sense. That does make sense. So I thought that it might work if I attempted cooking from an angle that I'm good at. Up until now, all I did was try harder. But saying that I'll try harder each time is tiring. I'm not actually putting any thoughts into it. That's why I stopped thinking of attacking everything with that mindset. Yeah, I, I did keep telling you to try harder. It doesn't always help. And I've become trying to find ways that I can do the things that I'm not good at. When I began to think of it that way, it felt much better and I started enjoying what I was doing. I needed to understand the situation instead of just being overwhelmed by trying to do my best. So I hope that by taking notes, I'll be more likely to succeed. I, I couldn't accept the bad parts of me this whole time. But you saw all the things that were bad about me while you were here cooking with me. Oh, don't say it like that, Fuka. And you always encouraged me, even when I messed up. That's why I thought I should also try to like myself for who I am. Fuka is smiling gently. You feel like you've grown even closer to her. That feels like a rank 10 conversation. But no, rank 8. Let's go. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. We are level 8 the, of the Priestess Arcana. Nice. Oh, it's almost time for us to leave. Next time, I'll make something too. Yes, Mom. I'll do my best. Oh, um, I'll do what I can and try my best later. <laughs> you cleaned up the room together and headed back to the dorm. Sup, dude. Sup. So what's the plan for the the the, the storm, whatever, well, the typhoon, thank you. The typhoon threatens to cancel the festival, which is a shame. As student council president, I have invested a lot of time organising it. So I hope we can still have the festival, but I guess all we can do is trust in Providence. Junpei Kun... 
Jim Payton cares so much about Chidori-san. I used to think he was a bit of a womanizer, but now he seems like such a gentleman. From my calculations, the probability of the typhoon descending upon us is extremely high. We must secure the dormitory windows and seal any areas that are prone to leaking. Guess what? I have to wear a maid outfit. Why me? It's just not right. I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. I feel like running away. I guess she's hoping that it gets cancelled then. Yeah, Chidori's gonna need some time to cool down. So I'm gonna give her some space. It's gonna be hard, but what can I do? There's a typhoon headed our way. I'm not sure if it's going to hit us or not, though. According to Igus, we've got a very high probability. I am back. Ken, my dear, do you want to hang out? I feel bad because I'm always like, okay, it's always somebody and then um, the dog. And I'm always hanging out with somebody because I'm like, well, I always see the dog. And now I feel bad, but he is higher level, so it's okay, I think. Let's hang out with Ken. Okay, we're back at the restaurant. We, he ordered a ginger pork meal, but he doesn't seem to be eating much. What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, nothing. Ken begins eating hurriedly. I don't mean it like that, Ken. Ugh. I had some snacks a little while ago. Is it true that you won't get big and strong if you don't eat right? You've come out, not up. Oh. <laughs> That's a terrible way of saying it. Yeah, it, it is kind of true. I, I see. Then I'll eat all of this, too. Ken tries hard to eat the food in front of him. Could something have happened to him? Why do you want to be bigger? Why? Because I'm small. Ken seems a little embarrassed. Um, it'd be nice if I could be like Akihiko Sam. I mean, you're half his age. Just, you know, in eight years' time, you'll be big and tall. Probably taller than him. Um, Echo Sam. You'd prefer someone like Akihiko Sam too, right? I mean, he's not my type. You know, I'm, I'm more of the lonely brooding type. Apparently, and I don't like this, the way this conversation is coming because I feel like somebody has a bit of a push, and I feel like me saying no, not at all, will um, fuel that fire. <laughs> but I also don't want to lie to the kid. Oh, really? I think he's cool. He is cool, but I don't like him like that. Ken looks downwards. I want to hurry and become an adult. Ken has a serious look on his face. You don't need to take that. I mean, you don't need to be that quick to grow up. There must be something on Ken's mind. You feel like you understand Ken a little better now. Do I? I feel like I didn't because we didn't work out why. I did. I feel like it's, you know, because of what you might call it. Because he's got a big fat crush on us. Just as has grown. Oh, you can't eat any more, Echo San. If you get any bigger, I won't be able to catch up to you. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Ken continues wolfing down his rice. I don't think he quite understood what I meant by yes, you need to eat well if you want to grow big and strong. We finish our dinner with Ken and return to the dorm together. Okay, it's Friday. Oh, it doesn't look like there's a storm coming. Was it Saturday that it was coming? No, Saturday is the festival. You overhear the conversation. Hey, have you been to the film festival yet? That stitch of agitation is hosting it, right? I lost count of how often I went there over summer break. Same, same here. I hear that there's going to be another festival on the 23rd. Do you want to go? Do I want to go? Mm. Maybe. Why is it just the one day? Nah, I'll pass on this one. I 
forget what this one's theme is, but I remember it was all kitty. The first bell is wrong. Okay, that seems important, maybe. Class has ended for today. The clouds look ominous. You should head back to the dorm. Oh, I don't even get to talk to people. Fancy that. Oh, it's very windy. Okay, so maybe... Oh, I'm drenched from the rain. Yep, that storm has come. You're shivering. You weren't quick enough, huh? Screw you, Jinpei. Everyone is sitting around the lounge. It seems they happen to gather in the midst of the storm. According to the news, a typhoon just That's hit. That's not good. Supposedly, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be around for a How while. for a while? Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got killed. Oh, thank God for that, hey, Yukari? Huh. Setting all that stuff up is a pain, so I don't mind. Neither does Yukari. But it Yukari. sucks that we'll be stuck indoors. Well, we can hang out together. So, how are you going to spend your break? Um, what break? Do you love school or something? Most students started looking forward to winter break a month ago. I mean, I guess so, but I'm probably going to hang out with you guys. I'm going to do some studying to try and get my um, my academics up. What about you, Fuka? She's probably going to do the same. Me? Well, the only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, yeah. Go on, then. If the film festival is still on on the 23rd. No. If the storm is still happening on the 23rd. Maybe I'll head to the, uh, the, the movies. Oh, a movie. Is it a date? Is it a date? It's, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. She oh, absolutely Natsuki loves movies. Natsuki-chan. Uh, she does, if it's a kiddie-style movie, I can imagine her liking it. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll be able to go. Hopefully. How about you, Yukatan? Will you still have practice? I doubt it. You could have. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely cancelled until the storm blows over. Oh. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. What about you, Senpai? I haven't decided. What do you mean? Besides, what business is it of yours, Iori? What's going on here? Me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about He's my plans. Probably gonna go to the hospital, right? I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori san. Yeah. Although she has stabilized, we cannot release her. Man, <laughs> Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She wants me to come. She asked for you? Not to brag or anything. Uh, I mean, why would that be a brag? I uh, just thought I should check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Is that so? Okay. What's up with him? He's in love. Um, well... You don't know either? Oh, yeah. Ken-kun. Never mind what what's up with him. What's up with Mitsuru? That was a really pointed jab. Oh, uh, nothing in particular. Come on, you have to be doing something. I mean, what else could he do? Well, I'll probably go visit the shrine. In the rain? No, you won't. Dude. You're a kid, not an old man. But that's where I always go. So? I guess you could say I made a vow. Okay, Batman. Anyway, I'm going back to my room. I have a lot of homework to do. What is going on with you guys? Oh, okay. Well, call me if you get stuck. <laughs> call me if you get stuck. Ken returned to his room. Okay, so we've got these two uh, who are acting fucking weird. We've got Ken, who's a real weirdo. We've got Mitsuru, who seems to have a problem with Junpei. Junpei, who's totally in love. So I guess me and Fuku are going to do our own stuff. And Koromaru. And you guys can just be weird together. What is going on? And they're not going to answer, are they? Of course not. Of course not. Can we not leave at all? It's raining outside. Hey, where do you think you're going? Forget about it. You're gonna catch a cold, dude. I've been sick so many times this year, it doesn't really matter. This building was damaged by that shadow back in April. I wonder if there are any leaks in it. Psst, hopefully not. I hope this building didn't get damaged as badly as my ribs. 
Due to the cancellation of the festival, we will receive five days off from school. We will have the weekend off. The 21st is respect to the age day. The 22nd is a natural, national holiday. And the 23rd is the autumnal equinox. We should spend this time wisely. I hate to say this, but I'm so happy this festival got cancelled. I mean, come on, the maid outfits? I'd rather stand outside in the middle of a typhoon than have to wear maid outfits. Aw, we can't see Yucatan in a maid outfit now because the festival was cancelled. Man, I wanted her to be my waitress. <sighs> Dude, you have a girlfriend now. Yeah, bummer. I wish the typhoon took a hint. It crushed the hopes of every man at school. You're all wet. Are you alright? You don't look so good. I don't think you should go to Tartarus tonight. You should just rest. Yeah, just go rest tonight. I don't think anyone wants to go to Tartarus in all this wind and rain anyway. A student president council, a student council president, I am saddened to hear the festival has been cancelled. I suggested that the date be rescheduled, but it seems that won't happen. Well, there is nothing one can do to hinder Mother Nature's will. Koromaru is sitting calmly. Yeah, he doesn't want to go for a walk. Where's Shinji? Hey boy, are you okay? Making a wish. Ugh, why can't he act like a normal kid? Your body is cold all over as if you've come down with an illness. You are incredibly sleepy. You fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. Ooh, we've got Dark Hour. Where's our boy Pharos? He seems to have not been that long. Oh, Igor, hi. This is the Velvet Dream. I have been waiting for you. Yeah, it's been a while, my man. What are you waiting for? I last summoned you in your dreams quite some time ago. Yeah, I want to say May. Maybe even just April. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered my assistance. And how am I doing? I'm doing great, aren't I? Now then, your special power, Persona. Have you been using it wisely? I feel like I have. Of course. Therefore... Please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. Ooh. Henceforth, you shall be able to fuse four or more four personas. More? I am certain that this cool. will be of great benefit to you. How many personas can you do at once? Five, six? New fusions are possible. But now, you must be tired. Please, I'm a rest little easy. tired. Until we meet again. Farewell. Farewell. Wait, what? Why have we slept like two days? Why did nobody wake me up? What the fuck? You seem to have slept for a long time. The typhoon is completely past. The, the wind. The typhoon is completely past. Through the window, the skies look clear. You feel refreshed. Today is respect to the age day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. Okay. All right. Bright and early Monday morning. What are we doing? Is anybody worried about me? Why am I walking down the steps? The physical condition of a fighter is very important. No matter how strong you are, if you don't feel well, you won't last long in the ring. That seems pointed to me. Are you feeling okay, Senpai? You should take today to rest. Oh, you seem to be feeling better. Why don't you go out and get some fresh air? It's really nice out. Okay. I'm glad you're feeling better now. But don't be careless, or you might get sick again. Okay, was I sick then? How are you feeling? I feel fine now. Then let's explore Tartarus. Not quite yet. Good morning. I am here to monitor the condition of your health. Your temperature, pulse and breathing have all returned to normal. 
Congratulations on surviving your Elma. Thank you. They say idiots never get sick. That means that you got sick, that makes you smart. Good for you. Take it easy. I will. Oh, hey, Shinji. Colt's a little cold, huh? Glad to see you're feeling better. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. I'm no longer in great condition. Ah, oh, sucks to be me. Today is the autumnal equinox. There is no school. It seems there will be a day-long film festival today. Maybe you should invite someone from the dorm to go with you. Who would I bring with me? Sayori, oh, go away. Sorry, that was rude. I appreciate it, but I need to spend time with somebody in the dorm. Who should... Why am I doing it like this? I should go outside. Oh, let's go down. Hello, Akihiko. Uh, you're saying the same thing you did last time. Uh, hey, are you feeling... How are you feeling? Still a little sniffly? Just because you're a lot better now doesn't mean you should push yourself. Oh yeah, I brought you some gelatin. Free, feel free to have some. You should eat things that are easy to digest since you've only just gotten better. It's been a couple of days now. While you were resting, a typhoon passed through town. Not much damage was incurred. There is nothing else to report. I'm feeling fine. Oh, good morning. Did you know there's only... Oh, good morning. Did you know there's a one day only film festival today? The promoter said there was so much under bands that they decided to hold another one. I guess people liked it. Okay. But nobody wants to go with me. Oh, Shinji. Oh, you weren't here last time, were you? Huh? Film festival? I totally forgot they had those. Not that I've ever been to one. Well, let's do it. Come to the movies with me. Wouldn't you have more fun if you went with one of your girlfriends? I mean, I've been with all of them. Well, I don't care if you don't. Let's go then. Shinjiro seems happy. Port Island Station Movie Theatre. The theatre is crowded because of the movie marathon today. Today's theme is the incredible pet series, Pet Stories series. Are we really watching this? Oh yeah, did I not mention it was kiddie shows? Hmm. Well, if this is what you really want, I guess I'm game to. Yes, it is. You watch tiny animals surviving with all their strength. He'll love that. My courage is greatly increased. The river. It just washed that dog away. Yeah, animal films can be surprisingly dark. Shinjo's eyes seem a bit red. I gotta go. You went back to the dorm. <laughs> My poor boy. <laughs> it's because they're animals, so they can kind Welcome of back. get away with what they can't in like if it was actual children or kids or adults, you know? Do -do 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 -do. Sorry, I love the music. I, I say it every time. Hey, are you feeling any better, Echo Fun? I was going to inquire earlier, but I thought you might be sick of everyone asking if you're sick. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. That is good to hear. Please take care of yourself. Achoo! Now is he sick as well? Koumaru is wagging his tail. You want to hang out then? Yes, yeah, spend the evening together, my boy. Oh. Koumaru looks happy. Woof. Koumaru seems to be in a good mood. As you were getting ready to take him out for a walk, Fuka came by. Hello, Chan. How was today's... Huh. You didn't eat all of it. But it's good meat with the bones still in. Uh, but did you cook it? Hey, that's mean! <laughs> As if my food's so bad you won't eat it at all. I bought his dinner today, but... Koro-chan, are you not going to eat this? Koro-man took the meat into his mouth. 
but he isn't eating it. Hey, you have a girlfriend? Koromaru headed towards the door. In any case, you decide to take him out for a walk. It's just, you know, a snack as we're walking around. Huh. Koromaru is still carrying the meat in his mouth. Oh, my baby looks sad. Why is baby s sad? Why is he sad? Why are you upset? Don't look at me with those big, big eyes. Oh, is this on purpose? Why are you saving the meat, boy? He's quiet. You realise that if you bark, the meat would fall out of his mouth. In any case, you headed towards the shrine. Was it an offering for his owner? There's no one here. Karumaru is twix twitching his nose. Oh, is it, you have a girlfriend or boyfriend? I need you dead. Although the dog sounds upset. Maybe it's a stray. You hear a dog's faint cry from somewhere. Karumaru was looking around and walking towards the sounds. Huh. Oh, it's a puppy. There's a puppy shivering behind the bench. Oh, Karumaru dropped the meat he was carrying at the puppy's feet. Oh. The puppy is biting into the meat. He's watching the puppy intently. How long has it been here? Koromaru was looking up at you with his big eyes. In any case, you can't leave this puppy be. What should you do? Um, check it over first. Upon close of inspection, there's a thin collar around the puppy's neck. If this was someone's dog, his owner might be looking for him. You should consult Officer Kurosawa about this. Colonia Mall Police Box. You brought the puppy here with Kurumaru. A lost dog. No, there haven't been any reporters. Do you take on jobs like that too? Huh. No matter how much manpower you have, it won't be enough. Alright, might as well give you some direct help for once. Wait right here. Officer Kurosawa began calling places one after another. Yes, that is correct. I see, thank you very much. Hello, is this the pet shop Bow Wow? My name is Kurosawa at the Tatsumi East Police Box. He seems to be calling the local pet shops and animal hospitals. That's correct, a black puppy. Weed? I have no idea. Ah, oh, there is. The puppy is missing. Yes. Kiyama-san. I see the house on the corner of 2nd Street. I'll ask them. Thank you very much. Officer Kurosawa ended the call in a rather good mood. It seems I might have found them. Don't look so worried. He again picked up the phone. Hello, this is the Kiyama residence. My name is... Kurosawa's face is lighting up. It seems he's found the puppy's owner. Yay. We found them. I'll take the puppy from here. It's dark out, so you should head on back. You should be fine. You've got a fine bodyguard with you. Officer Kurosawa petted Koromu Koromaru on the head. Ah. Oh. Koromaru seemed happy. I say that name so often that it's starting to feel weird in my mouth. On the way back from the police box. Woof. He's wagging his tail happily. Yeah, I'm glad we found his owner. So is he, and he's happy about it. Woof. He's nuzzling you with his nose. You feel like Koromaru is thanking you. I was going to say as he should, but no, no, I didn't mean it quite like that, but yes. We're hanging out together, we're forging bonds, it's nice. Ooh, level 7, nice. Okay, so led by Kuromaru, you decide to go back to the dorm. And we're back to school. Good morning. It feels like fall since the typhoon passed, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know why that sentence got away from me there. I hope the fighting ends before winter comes. Uh, I 
hope, I, there's no way of knowing actually, because there's three more, so that'll be what, December, November, December, October, November, December, so hopefully it'll end in December, but it could end sooner because they do like to hang out with each other, too. A lot of people are concerned about stress today. Believe it or not, crying can relieve stress. The tension is washed away with all those tears. But if the root cause of the stress isn't addressed, it'll become a vicious cycle. By the way, does anyone here know the number one cause of stress? I feel tired. I'd like to know what the number one cause of stress is. I'd say work. For men, it's their job. And for women, it's their husbands. Men get stressed from dealing with their bosses, co-workers and so on. When they seek comfort at home, it passes on to their wives. They in turn relieve their stress through personal hobbies. That's how a successful marriage functions. I disagree. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Plus two academics. Why did I say plus two? Oh, we've got another, we got another uh, thing, have we? Alright everyone, quiet down. Hmm, there will be no classes this afternoon. However, that doesn't mean you'll be allowed to goof off. You'll all have to work together to clean up the displays and decorations for the school festival. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go into the science lab. Your leader will be... Afternoon classes were cancelled and you'll be cleaning up after the school festival instead. Ugh. Here we're in the science room, are we? You were assigned to clean up alongside Yukari, Junpei and... I guess. Okay, that's lucky. Well, let's get this over with. Um, let's break into groups of two. One person takes down the photos, the other binds them together. Alrighty. We can take this easy. Indeed, Echo-san is right. Let us devote all our strength to taking it easy. That's not what I said. I mean, I, that is what I said, but I didn't mean it like that. You began cleaning up with everyone. It sucks for the photography club that they took so many pictures and no one got to see any of them. Oh, isn't this from the Summer Fellowship? Look, here's Echo. You guys went to a school in the countryside, right? Yeah, it was fun. Lucky, they had a hot spring too, didn't they? I wanted to go in one too. We'll be going to one soon, will we? Are you talking about the school trip? That's in November. Talk about jumping the gun. I can't believe we're going to Kyoto. Uh, it's wherever... Wait. Uh, it's where everyone goes. I really wish they wouldn't make us go to all the shrines and stuff. Yeah, seriously. Kenji? Kenji and Kazushi has arrived. They seem to have brought cleaning supplies with them. Do we need, really need them in the photography club area? So, Yukari-san, why don't I show you around Kyoto when we go? How do we jump onto that subject? Anyway, did you find a nail puller? Yeah, Kazushi brought to all of them. We've got a bunch to choose from. We just needed one or two. Aren't the guys in the other classes going to need them too? Oh, you're right. I'll go return the rest. Oh, uh, well, I just don't think you need to go right away. It's just someone asks. I uh, see, then I'll leave them here. You know, when you're with girls, well, more like when you're with Yukari-san. What? <laughs> Nothing. That's how it is. Hey, how's Rio these days, Kenji? That reminds me, Junpei, you were in charge of popping stuff. Did you bring some? Of the popping stuff? Oh, the bubble wrap. Uh, good call, Kenji. Go get it. You know where to keep all that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but I just got back from there. You go get it. You're the one who forgot it in the first place. Huh? Are you sure? You really don't want to go? That place is like paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there who just be your type? Wait, are you serious? Be right back, guys. Oh my god, we found a guy who's worse than Jinpei. Yeah, that kid falls for- Okay, he's not as worse as Jinpei. 
Like I fell for that, dumbass. What kind of supply room is stocked with hot babes? Uh, we're never going to finish at this rate. If you're going to talk, talk how you work. She's like a pissed off samurai. I heard that. Is he stupid or something? More like stupid, I think. Deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. We need it now. But man, it's a real shame the school festival fell through. There was some hilarious stuff planned, like a cross-dressing pageant. They said it would be open to everyone, so I was planning on jumping in. Did... I must... Did... Oh, I don't know. Did the school festival happen in the original game? And they just can't implement it here in the PlayStation Portable version? Hurt uh, you, cross-dressing? Oh, hell no. I feel like this is a scene in a thing. But I could be wrong. Could just be me wishing hard. <laughs> no way. You were imagining it just now, huh? I must have been super cute. Where in the world does your confidence come from? Well, I'd be a lot better at than you. You just look creepy. I don't think you needed to go that far. He already looks creepy. I mean, hey, I'd be cuter than Kaz here, right? Me? Why would I? You hear that, Kaz? He just said you'd lose. Are you going to take that from him? What? There's no doubt that I'd be the cutest. Oh my god, why are we having this conversation? I'm getting annoyed as a Yukari. I'd be the cutest one in school. I will not lose either at dressing up as a girl. Well, duh, you're... I am a female type. The female clothes would be... Okay, okay, let's just stop that. Eko-san, what do you think? Whose cross-dressing would be the most super cute? Um... Yeah, I guess. I have won. No, just wait till next time. Alright, you better move out of the way. You guys are holding everything up. Sorry. You know, if you judge just by appearance, Yucatan is already super cute. You have a girlfriend. You wouldn't like it if we went to Chidori and told her what you're saying. What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing. He is saying that your personality is not cute. Yeah, I got that. Hi Chan, you gotta know when to speak up and when to stay quiet. If you don't learn, Yukatan's gonna give you the evil eye, and she's gonna give you the evil eye. See what I mean? No, stop choking me! Can say something! You gotta use your guts. For what? And that reminds me. It's a shame you never got to wear that maid costume, Yukari san. Hey, I've just had a brilliant idea. We want to find out who's the cutest. Well, whoever's cutest is the one that made, wears the maid costume. Huh? Ugh, the word got out about that? I'm so relieved it never happened. But I bet lots of guys were really disappointed. Right, Kazushi? Probably. Huh? Really? Wait, what's a maid? Really? A pure soul. Oh, it's something that guys like Junpei dream about. Junpei. Wait a sec, what that looks for? You act like I did something. You were definitely thinking about it. You wanted her to wait, wait to us for you. Junpei-san, you got to be kidding. You too, I guess. <laughs> you finished cleaning up while chatting with everyone. Okay. That was a, that was a day. That was a large typhoon. I expected the school to have sustained some damage. However, I was mistaken. It must have been built with quite durable materials. Okay. Hopefully we can form a bond soon. Hey, how are you feeling? I hope your cold hasn't come back. I feel great. I'm glad to hear that. Just don't push yourself. Hey, 
Anyway, anyway, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, you want to hang out today? Let's hang out, you, me, and Mothman, huh? And we can vibe with the music. I am having fun. I had a break and I came back and I'm like, fuck yeah to this music. Sorry, I need to stop. Uh, you did your duties as a library committee member. Yes, I did. I'm a good girl. Echo Chan, can you find me a book on shelf A3 for me? Ooh, an announcement. Please pardon the interruption. Sayori Hasegawa of Class 2C, Echo Okamoto of Class 2F. Please report to the faculty office at once. I repeat. They're calling for us. We're like across the goddamn hall. Do you have any idea why? Hmm. No. I'm surprised you could walk in here without any sense of shame, Hasegawa. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Okoda slams a magazine on the desk. A large heading reads, The continued corruption of our nation's youth, rampant sexuality in Jihai. Huh? This is your picture, isn't it? There is a photo with the article. There's a black bar over the eyes, but it does look like Sayori. The name has been changed to Shiori Nagatani. Well, you can't fucking prove it then, jackass. I'm not even going to go into the filth in this article. Some brainless journalist must have talked to you. You quickly skim through the article that Mr. Okoda threw on the desk. It seems that the Shiori Nagatami is openly talking about the nightly activities all the girls participate in. I never. Another student from this school brought, in, brought this to my attention, saying, My school's reputation is ruined, and you can believe her. She also made a report on you. Hasegawa-san makes sexual, sexual advances towards male classmates, uses vulgar language behind our backs, and she never interacts with us because she thinks she's superior to the rest of the students. I think I know who this woman is. I need to have a word with her. In other words, your reputation is terrible. I'm not surprised you'd stoop to doing something like this. You can't do anything. You can't prove it, jackass. I don't know about your nightly activities, but you can't go around causing your school trouble like this. This affects not only you, but your guardians and the people around you as well. Anyway, it's been decided that you're going to be... To fuck no! Do you understand? I... What do you... You, you, sh you shut the fuck up, dude! You've got this wrong! Zip it, Dokamoto. The important thing here is how this article reached the general public. You think you can change that, hmm? We have to make an example for the other students and their parents. There must be punishment. This Shaori girl in the magazine, you can't prove that it was her just because it looked like her? Your parents told us to be careful about you. Now I see why. You have such wonderful parents, Hasegawa. Why are you doing this to them? I'm going to punch your teacher in a minute. I'm going to punch your goddamn teacher in the face with no regrets. You both left the faculty office and decided to go home today. I'm sorry, Echo chan If you stay near me, you're going to lose any reputation you have. I'm going to lose that reputation, reputation by punching a guy in the face. Don't worry about it. Thank you. They always tremble. That article's a lot. No doubt. I didn't say anything. But I did let the photographer take a picture of me. Stop letting people take pictures of you! Stop letting people walk all over you! He said it was for an article about the street edge lifestyle and today's high school students. And you believed him. He wanted a shot with me in my uniform. Look what 4,000 yen got me into. That's not even a lot of money. I could have given you 4,000 yen. Uh, didn't you... Why, yeah, why would you do it? Come on. A girl in my class asked if I'd be willing to do an easy job. I didn't really want to do it, but I didn't care. Maybe I just wanted to help her out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in the face next, Sayori. Maybe I just wanted a friend. 
I really laughed. I really am older than everyone now. When I was younger, everyone said that I was more mature than the kids around me and wouldn't have young friends. But adults were kind and treated me well. Except, you know, all the adults in this school. <sighs> but everything was a lie. Everything like when they said things like, I love you. Oh, your parents? Ooh, Sayori smiles but appears to be on the brink of tears. I acted just how the adults around me wanted to act. All I had to do was smile and stay quiet. As long as I did that, they'd call me cute and be happy with me. It's too late now. I don't know how to stand on my own anymore. I'm too scared. Uh, everyone's up. No, I'll root for you. Echo Chan. Sayori's lips tremble. You feel like you understand a little about what Sayori is going through. I feel like you don't. You don't have parents. It's a horrible thing to say, but you don't. The librarian social link has reached level 7. Beautiful. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. I... I know I shouldn't be feeling this way, but part of me is happy and thankful that you were with me. I probably wouldn't be able to endure this myself. You made sure Sayori got to him safely before heading back to the door. Okay, who are we hanging out with Hello. tonight? Ken? You willing to hang out? Uh, we're not going to talk to us today, nope. The loss are increasing and I want to get stronger. So if you're going, please take me. How about we go out to eat, huh? I'm hungry. I, I need to vent my feelings into food, you know? So let's me, you and Virtue head on out. Let's spend a, a night. Spend a night? Spend some time together. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. He's happy about that. Good. I assume he's my lowest level. I feel like I'm pretty high with, um... Shinjiro and um, and Kuramaru. I couldn't think of the dog's name then. I was like, oh my god. Okay, Ken ordered the calcium meal. But he doesn't seem to have much of an appetite today. What's up, son? Ken seems depressed. I'm sorry. Um, I always make you listen to me talk. It's like I'm depending on you too much. I'm, your, I'm the leader, you're meant to depend on me. It's not good, huh? Yeah, I want to hear more. But it's no fun to listen to a little kid like me. Why are you so... Ken looks downwards. Um, Echo-san. I'm going to be serious here, so please listen to what I have to say. Remember the manga I talked about before? The one with the alien hero who fights bad guys? I do vaguely recall that. I threw all of them away. Uh, yeah, I'll buy you some more. I've got the money. You want a new series? No, it's okay. Oh, fine. Thank you, though. Ken bows slightly. That's kind of awkward when we're sat down. He's just like bending into the table. Very awkward, very awkward. Fighting isn't a good thing. But I enjoyed reading it. Well, don't worry about it then. I mean, you know, you wouldn't go out and beat people up in your real life. Except during the dark hour. But reading it got me all excited. It's okay to enjoy it. It was really cool when tons of bad guys were dying too. Ooh, that may not have been age appropriate for you, eight year old child. That can't be good. Ken looks like he's about to cry. Ugh, I hate I, that I feel that way. I hate that you're about to cry. I hear you're okay the way you are. It's okay. Why do you say things like that? I'm trying so hard. I I want you to notice me. Ugh. Kid, you are you are like ten years my junior. Oh. Ken looks downwards. 
you feel better, but you understand Ken a little better now. You don't understand him more than you did before because I already knew that he was, uh, he, he had a crush on you, on me. Which, you know, understandable. Never gonna go anywhere. So Ken Amada Link has reached level five. I'm sorry, um, let's eat. Does your food taste good, Eke-san? I was getting worried that yours might taste bad too if you're with me. What does that mean? That's not true. I, I see. I'm glad to hear that. You're so nice, Eke-san. Oh, he's blushing. He's blushing. Oh, the boy is blushing. I'd like to have dinner with you again. I mean it. You and Ken finish your dinner and return to the dorm together. Nice. You overhear a conversation. Those incidents with the unconscious people, is it me or do they seem to be getting worse? No, it's not just you. They're definitely on the rise. It's always the news too. The whole thing makes me feel uncomfortable. What if it started happening, in, happening all over the world? Hey, don't say stuff like that. Bell has gone. Who wants to hang out with us? Oh, Phoebe, when was the last time I talked to you? I'm willing to go to. I, I, I was thinking about it, yeah. Yes, sir, now I won't be the only one. I'll be waiting outside your classroom. I'm not going to the accent. Phoebe seems excited. I might join him after school. He's the only one that wants to hang out with me, so why not, you know? Ooh, where did I just go? Echo, I'm okay now. It's because you were there for me. I'm here for you too, so don't forget that, okay? You feel an unbreakable bond between you and Yukari. Why wouldn't he? Okay, what are we making today? Echo Sama. I have come up with a great idea to show Japan's charm to my uncle. I will show him a kimono and make him understand the beauty of Nihon. Uh, it's a nice idea. Since you agree, Echo Sama, I have nothing to be afraid of. He's excited. The kimono is a Japanese treasure. If I show it to my uncle, he will surely let me stay in Nihon. The design will be the mascot of Sweet Shop. I thought of this, this design because Akosama took me there. Maybe he seems to be counting on you. Okay, your relationship is stronger now. I feel like nothing got said during that conversation. You just decided that you were going to make a um, kimono. I feel like we could have, like, skip that and just added a line in the next conversation. That's my thought. Anyway, level seven. I'm no longer confused. I will hurry up and make the kimono. I will sew like the wind. Baby began working on his project with all his might. I decided to start working on a scarf like you mentioned before. This will take a while. He worked alongside Bebe for a long time and then decided to go back to the dorm. Okay. Accepted. So, maybe I have a better conversation tonight. The next full moon's coming up. Yeah, we've got nine days. And since Jidori's getting better, I think I should start training again. Besides, those apathy beaks are popping up everywhere. Well, it looks like everyone's home, huh? 
Hey Akihiko, Miss Sue can complain all she wants, but we only have three shadows left. Once we defeat them, there won't be any more news about the lost. We're so close. Why am I always in my room? No reason, really. I, he doesn't have any friends outside of us. What's up, Echo? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm good. Come on, man. Liven up. You're young. You should have some fun. Well, it, it looks to me like I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Shinjiro. Because he's willing to hang out. But uh, Yukari, Shinjiro Senpai, is a really good cook. Despite how tough he looks. That was a really good meal. It was. There's more to him than meets the eye. There is. It is difficult to determine a shadow's strength. Particularly these last three. Please be prepared for the worst. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be stronger, aren't they? So using the clock to recover won't cost as much today. Shinjiro Senpai is by himself a lot. Does he like to be alone? Or is he just shy? To be honest, I'm a little worried about him. He must be so sad being alone all the time. I mean, maybe. The news has been reporting that the number of the lost is increasing. I wish we could receive some good news for once. Koromaru is sitting calmly. It doesn't seem like he wants to go for a walk tonight. Well, uh, do you want to hang out, Shinjiro? Echo, what's up? Do you want to hang out, spend the evening with me? Well, I don't mind. Shinjiro seems secretly happy. <laughs> I'm outwardly happy. Mind if we sit, step out for a bit? It's just... I feel uncomfortable. What do you mean? Did something happen? It's nothing like that, but... Oh, there's a blush there. Shinjiro seems hesitant to explain himself. In any case, you decide to go outside with him. Seriously? Sorry, those guys kept... These... Sorry, those guys kept yapping at me yapping at you. Oh, do they keep asking for more food? Do you remember how I cooked for them the other day? They keep going on and on about how delicious it was and how I should do it again. It's only been like a couple of weeks. I can keep pushing those requests on me. Hooker's throwing cookbooks at me. And whenever I walk past the kitchen, they all stare at me like it, like they're just waiting for me to do something. Shinjiro shrugs. Yeah, I mean, I hope to, my man. Hey, don't look at me like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad they liked it. I feel like I should have an opportunity. Let me cook for you next time. We should make it like once a month or something like that. Do you think it's funny that I did that? You think it isn't like me? I mean, there's nothing wrong with having good memories to grow with, up with. We've got two kids at the dorm anyway. I... I don't know why, but I was taught, I was reading that and I sort of zoned out a minute and I, well not a minute, but like a sentence and then I zoomed back in and I was like, we've got two kids ourselves. <laughs> For some reason I thought he was talking about we are the, we have the kids. I was going to say, what two kids are we talking about? One big one and one tiny one. Are you talking about Junpei? How about you? you have fun too? Definitely. Ah, <laughs> good to hear. Shinjiro laughs. Making memories is important. People can go on as long as they have good things to look back on. I agree with that. They'll be able to go on without being led astray. Shinjiro mutters quietly. You know, you... Shouldn't you be doing something else? You shouldn't be with me like this. Don't you have more fun things to do? It's been fun. It's fun being with you. I we got him to blush again. Well, all right then. He's embarrassed. I wouldn't say it's embarrassment that he's feeling. Flattery. I'm just pouring all the compliments onto him. You can feel Shinjiro's thoughtfulness towards you. 
comes it is as it may be. You feel like your bond with Shinjiro has grown stronger. Good. Because I wanted it to. Rank 7. Of the moon. I might as well stop by somewhere since we're already out. We're just outside the show. I mean, unless we've been walking around the dorm a little bit. Do you want some ice cream from the convenience store? My treat. Fuck yeah! Ice cream? Oh my god, this is the man! You and Shinjiro walked around before heading back to the dorm. That is the man for me! No, there's nobody here. Hey, Suka! Suka, Suka, Suka! Hey, Echo-chan! Are you coming to the cooking club today? I suppose so, because nobody else is here, Suka. Who wants to go to the cooking club with me? Then let's go! Let's go some, do some cooking! Okay, then let's go! He's happy. Good. I am also happy. Hey, what are we making today? I'm going to cook on my own today. It'll be really delicious, so look forward to it. What are you going to make today, Echo-chan? Uh, I can't remember what the last thing one I made was, so let's make a cupcake. I wouldn't want bananas. Let's make some other kind of cupcake. cupcake. Are you done, Echo-chan? I just finished up now. Too. I got some pretty fast. Look, look! Rows of triangular rice balls are lined up on the plates that Fuka handed you. The rice looks moist and delicious. This one has pickled plum, this one's salmon, and this one's seaweed. Try whichever one you like. You picked one and ate it. It's very good. Oh, I think you've mastered rice balls. Yep, I did it. There are 22 conditions that must be met for making a good rice ball. I've met all those conditions, so there's no possible way that it wouldn't be delicious. She seems proud of her culinary handiwork. I don't think I was making enough of an effort before. Not, no, that's not it. I just wasn't putting in enough effort in the correct way. I just thought about trying harder. Yeah, I did not help you there. I kept saying that as well. That wasn't right. Thinking about how you can fix your mistakes is how to really put forth a better effort. If you can't do something that others can, then it's that. Then that's the effort you need to reach their level. It seems so obvious now, but I didn't understand it at all. All I did was envy your skills. Aw, I'll never again think that my goals are doomed from the start. Thanks, Echo-chan. Do collect out to relieve that. You feel like you've grown ever closer to her. Nice. Ooh, rank nine. We're almost there with Fuka. Priestess is almost fully complete. Nice. Oh, I have more on this plate too. This one's tuna, that one's natto, and this one's a mentaiko. And on top of that, I even have a supreme one where I mix in all the ingredients. Eat up. I'd like to try the one with all the ingredients. Wait as much as you could before heading back to the dorm. We should send them, bring them back as well. Share it with people. Greetings. Greetings. I could totally talk to the dog, but uh, you're here and you're showing willing, Shinjo. Echo, you mind coming with me? Shinjo looks very serious. Well then, let's spend the evening with him. Let's see what he wants to talk about. Thanks. He thanks you solemnly. Ooh, we're at the back alley. You told us never to come here. You went for a walk with Shinjiro and ended up here. Here we are again. That reminds me. I met you here too. Technically we met in the hospital, but this is where we had the proper talk. Back then, I never had mentioned... Back then, I never imagined that I'd go back there. Well, I'm glad that you came back. I doubt that I'm bringing that much to the team, though. He shrugs. Shinjo turns towards the wall and looks down. He seems less confident in himself than usual. You're... a pain. 
And my heart, you broke my heart. How could you say that about me? You keep messing things up for me. I keep thinking that my life is the way it's supposed to be, but sheesh, your face keeps popping up in my head. You don't understand why Shinjiro sighs. Still, you feel like you're getting closer to his inner feelings. How could he say that to me? I'm broken hearted. I love you, Shinjiro, and you say this to me? <laughs> Rank 8. Ooh, we're getting up there with quite a lot of people. Our moon arcana has grown. I guess we should head back. We actually have a place we can go back to. We return to the dorm. Oh my god. Stop fucking watching me! Stop recording me in my sleep! This is your room! You see yourself sleeping in bed. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. What my the time fuck? has improved. 